Hey everyone, it's Serge from SN3 Gaming. Today's our highlight video. Uh, I wanted to thank everyone who gave me some feedback from last week's highlight video. Uh, trying out a new program as well as doing the voiceover thing I wanted to do last week, but I was pretty lazy. <laughs> so I'm making sure that I'm doing it this week. Uh, today we are at Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway. This is the first time the sprint cars are in this track. Uh, the race I'm highlighting is the one I've got a pole for the first time. Uh, this is the first time I've ever gotten a pole, so I was pretty happy about that. Uh, as you can see, I uh, taking the lead over here on our our, our pace lap. Uh, again, I was really proud of doing that. It, it's something I've I've never done before, and uh, hopefully my first win in A class will be around the corner. Uh, you'll see throughout the race that this was something that was tough for me to gain back but you know it, it, this is a tough track for me uh, it's it, not like the speedways that I've been used to for the last three weeks uh, where it's high banking the track here has got some low banking and turn one and two are vastly different than turn three and four um, and as you can see the banking's pretty medium so we use a lot of our brakes and a lot of throttle control so here we are, we're about to start the race, and um, I get a clear lead. Uh, I lead the race for a couple of laps. Uh, the one car is was pretty consistent here, but I was able to get a good distance on him for a few moments, and he just came up, you know, he was, he was coming up on me, but I was able to lead at least the first three laps, and I was, I was pretty happy about that. <laughs> I guess if this was an actual race I'd get some points for once. So, but yeah, like I said, the one car was just more consistent. My issue is I'll have a good lap and then like three laps I just will just go too high or break way too late or, or something like that. But here he is, the, the one car. He's gonna take the lead here. And that's the last time I got to see the lead and hopefully, you know, I don't know if it's going to be this race or this track uh, that I'm going to be able to to get to to win, but we'll see how it goes. I know I got a few more race times I can, I can do gateway, so not too bad. Um, the next car was able to get me. I actually dropped down to six at the end of this run. Um, I like I said, a lot of times I just got into a bad accident. First caution was over here. As you can see, the 24 car just just took out that other car, and it, so it, was, it was not great <laughs> for them. Um, here we go. Back to the restart. Uh, like I said, I was in sixth place here. I had a good uh, race with the six car. Uh, we were... He, he took the position from me, but I think eventually I was able to get to him. Uh, once I get into the low low line, I do a little better that way. Uh, high line, I'm not great. I, I've never been great on any high lines. Uh, but as you can see, I was able to get get him on the low line over here. Uh, was not bad at all there. Uh, but eventually he does take it back. Um, as I will have another issue where I go, where I, I slow down later than him. And he'll. It's a lot of outbreaking one another. And if you have the better line, you're just gonna. You're just gonna end up doing. Taking the taking the position. <laughs> so here it is. I think this is where it's coming up at, right there. I just. And eventually, when I see him coming, I I'm, I'm the type of driver where where if you're. If you're going to take overtake me, I'm just going to let you have it because there's no point in fighting, especially if it's this early on. Uh, well, unfortunately, this car, car 2, decides he doesn't want to let up on me, and that's where I get hit. I got a 2x there and took some damage. Here it is again. He's taking my rear quarter panel, hit the wall right there, 
not good. Of course, I lose several positions from that, so I got a lot of recovery to go from there. And as you can see, the damage damage is immense. It was not bad. It's more cosmetic. I was able to still go, but uh, thankfully this track is not one where you need to have like the eye perfect looking car. You can you can still go with with this as it's more like you're handling your turns better. I so I was able to hang on, lost some positions, but thankfully this caution came up, and uh, as you can see, I was able to get past that. Uh, funny how the 24 car was again involved in that. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah, I was able to get by that, thankfully. Uh, I was able to get pit and repairs. Uh, the repair time was optional, and thankfully it was only 40 seconds, but I, of course, was pretty much gonna, going to be starting from the back. So at this point, when at the restart, I was going to be starting 16th, and, you know, I'd rather do that early, and hope for the best. <laughs> so yeah, uh, as you can see, that's actually repair time. Um, I don't, they don't, the, our pit people don't show that they're pitting or repairing. <laughs> uh, coming up on the restart, of course I was 16th, so it was time to try to get as much uh, ground as I could get. Uh, I knew I wasn't going to win or even get top five but I wanted to make up as much as I could see if I could salvage at least maybe a top ten uh, didn't know what was gonna happen from here but just just was gonna hang in there and see where I was gonna go again you know i have just not as consistent as I want to be because like I said one lap I'll do great I'm on low line and just just picking up speed and then the next lap I'm just like I'll have to hard break uh, almost locked the brakes, but thankfully load cell pedals prevent that. Uh, here I am taking on the 9 car, and uh, another car just get, goes off, so I'll, I picked up that position. And, and in, this, in this scenario, there's actually, in three laps, I pick up two other positions. Uh, I pick up the 9 and the car ahead. I was able to take advantage of some of their their misgivings. Uh, I know eventually the nine car is about to hit the wall on coming up on this turn, and then I'll take that from him. And then the other car, the Menards car, uh, is I, I just I just eventually just overtake him. I'm able to outbreak him onto the low line, and, and go from there. Yep, there it is, turn three. Uh, maybe it was at turn one or two. Yep. And there he goes. Um, you know, he didn't go low, thankfully. I, I've run into a lot of scenarios in races where the car that's on the high line will just dive into the low line and block me and stop my momentum. So I was kind of glad that he didn't do that. <laughs> If you notice, I'm always on fourth gear. You can go up to fifth gear, but I found myself driving better on on gear four, and just just letting it redline. Uh, I I never had any issues with anything blowing up, so uh, I just stuck with the fourth gear. I didn't have to. It was a better turn for me, and just ending up at a better situation. Uh, here I am battling the twelve car. Uh, we battled for a bit. He, I almost got a good run on him, but he ended up seemingly doing better on the high line, which I'm kind of envious because I never have that kind of uh, luck. So uh, I'm on on the wheel, just just hanging in there, waiting for another opportunity. Uh, eventually, I believe that's coming up here. Again, yep, uh, he slowed down first, and I was able to get get it, and uh, didn't didn't overshoot my turn, so was able to take the clean clean uh, pass. Here 
Here's another one, uh, another car, 14, hits the wall. Uh, surprised there wasn't a caution there, but... Uh, I mean, some, yeah, that's a, as long as there's no other cars or that car didn't spin out, that's, that's another. It was a pretty clean race uh, most of the way. Here I am racing the 26 car, and we are... I thought I was able to get him but the car ahead is who I end up end up overtaking um, but for now you know I'm just I think keep thinking I'm gonna get the 26 here but doesn't look like but yeah he just he he ends up getting a better run on certain turns it's always that that issue I have is one time you know I'll have a better run here and he won't or he'll have a better run than me and when I don't so it's it's it was kind of an even battle for a while he just had the position that I wanted. Uh, eventually, the the car ahead of him will, will just start to slow down. Get, I think he got loose over here at some point, and um, I end up just taking that that car's position. Yep, here we are. 26 car passes him, and I was able to do it, so it was back to battling with him, and yeah, here we are again, still racing, <laughs> you know, it was a fun race, uh, I like these kind of races where I'm just, you know, chasing someone, and we're just, we're just even killed for a while. Eventually, I, I was able to get him here. Uh, go low, of course, a break. Or maybe it was the next position. I, I just knew he was hanging in there for a while, though, so you know I couldn't, I couldn't go high. I think eventually, at turn one, I was able to finally get him. Again, outbreaking someone. Uh, and when you have the low line, it kind of is a good advantage. You're able to get on, onto the turn and then take the position. Tried to get low on me over there, as you can see on the rear view, but he wasn't able to. So I was able to take that position and get myself to eighth place. So I, w I went from 16th to eighth throughout the, throughout the last part of the race. So uh, I'll take that because uh, I was unable to catch anyone else for seventh. This is the we're pretty much hitting at the final lap here. So once we cross the start finish, it's lap 50. I just didn't have anything for these cars, so, um, but yeah, we ended up finishing 8th, and uh, I'll take that, especially after a, uh, what happened to me earlier when I got hit on the wall. Um, I, you know, the person didn't apologize, which sucks, but, you know, it was one of those racing deals, I guess. I, I guess I was partially at fault as I, I kind of turned into him, but... Um, he could have backed off himself. Uh, if I saw somebody did that, I tend to back off myself because you know I don't want to cause any accidents or anything. Uh, at, in the end of the race, I did get a two X total, so I was able to get some safety points, which I desperately needed for this race, for this track, because I did lose a lot of safety points for for uh, at Gateway. It was just, there's a lot of people just doing a lot of dumb things. And um, this was one of the more cleaner races. I've ran into a lot of races where there are so many caution laps that we had to run because people are just, you know, they'll dive bomb these corners and cause just some issues. But yep, that is it for the highlights this week. Next week, I'm not sure where we're going. I think we're going to do Sonoma, which will be my first road course racing. <laughs> And we're going to see how that goes, because eventually I do want to do road course racing full-time uh, on other cars. But for now, uh, I guess we'll see what iRacing is going to give us. Until then, you guys have a good one. Take care.